in pressure reduction applications in hydrocarbon processing, hydraulic power recovery turbines, or HPRTs, are often used to recover available energy in the fluid stream. These turbines typically drive other rotating equipment, reducing overall power consumption. To calculate an HPRT's power recovery for a single-phase liquid with no evolved gas, we can use a calculation based solely on the inlet capacity and turbine pressure drop. That is, fluid power available is the product of mass flow, head drop and gravity. HPRT efficiency is calculated using actual tested power output divided by the calculated fluid power available. However, effluent streams from reactors are not always single phase. Vapour evolves from the liquid as the pressure of the fluid stream drops across the HPRT. By volume or gas void fraction, the amount of vapour at the turbine's outlet pressure can be quite substantial – 60% by volume or more. In these scenarios, there is an additional recoverable amount of energy in the evolved gas. Traditional HPRTs, which are essentially pumps running in reverse, may not be able to take advantage of this. But by employing a turbine design that can accommodate the change in volumetric flow rate, operators can recover the additional power in the fluid stream. This optimized turbine is created by replacing impellers with specially designed runners and nozzles. The additional vanes and fluid passages, along with optimized inlets, increase fluid acceleration. This allows for even greater power recovery, often 7% or more than traditional HPRTs. This scenario presents an issue when applying the classic single-phase measure of HPRT efficiency for two-phase flow, a practice that results in unrealistic efficiency values. Accordingly, the most accurate way to measure and specify the performance of an HPRT in evolving gas applications is total power recovered. Learn more about FlowServe hydraulic power recovery turbines at flowserve.com.